Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey guys, welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola. Today we are going to be working on part one of our yoga weight loss challenge for beginners. This is going to be fun, exciting, so no excuses. Join us on your mat. So before we get started today, I want to tell you guys something very exciting. We are actually going to be having a giveaway for this challenge where you can win a beautiful dragonfly outfit similar to one I'm wearing now, but actually in black. So find out how to enter in this video. Now go ahead and come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. We are going to take our left foot out so it's parallel with the front of our mat and then stack our right shin on top of our left shin, making a nice triangle shape with our legs. We're going to place the tops of our hands lightly onto our knees and start an inhale, rising up for cat cow. Exhaling, rounding that spine. Oh, speaking of cat cow. Breathing in, we really want to arch, and we're reaching back with the top back part of our scalp. We're not crunching our neck behind us. We're trying to grow, and as we exhale, we're keeping the shoulders planted. We're pulling the belly back. Inhaling, reaching that spine up nice and long. Exhaling, rounding out. And if you're feeling a little funky this morning or whatever time you're practicing, you can even add a little uh, snake charmer action with your cat cows. Whatever's fun for you. Taking nice deep breaths. We want to get everything moving and grooving, hitting the reset button on our body. Bringing all the organs out. And on your next inhale, come to sit up nice and tall. You can pull the flesh out from underneath the buttocks, so that way your sacrum, which is your hip bones, are nice and grounded. And we are going to reach our right arm just out to the side of us, taking our left arm up nice and tall. Exhale, reaching out for seated half moon. Always breathing. As we inhale, we want to expand that rib cage. And exhale, really sinking deeper, making sure that both of our hips are still squarely on the mat. We don't want to be rising up. And if you're just here, this is perfect. Next, if you want to take this a little bit further, we can start adding a slight crunch to this. Again, keeping those hips grounded, moving with control. We can take our right arm behind the back or leave it on the floor and use it for support. But we're exhaling and inhaling with each motion. Inhaling to rise up. Exhaling to go sideways. All right, next inhale, come to seated. We're going to scoot that left heel right up by our bottom, placing the right heel in front of our knee. We're going to hook our elbow, or if you can only reach your hand, that's fine too. Placing our right arm behind our back and twisting to look back over that right shoulder. And if this is too much, if you can't reach your elbow to your knee, you can always take the foot that's planted, put it on the outside of the knee that is laying down, and then just use your hand to pull on your knee following Tracy. Mm, I'm so happy to have my best friends with me today, and I love that we get to match and have fun. <laughs> so what do you think of our outfits? Because I'm loving this dragonfly. It's so soft and stretchy and it's so pretty. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so exciting. <laughs> love, love, love. <laughs> 
Hmm. All right, and on your next inhale, we're coming back to sitting. Now we are going to switch our legs out. So our right shin is coming parallel with the top of our mat and our left shin is going to go right on top, making that nice triangle, placing the hands on the kneecaps. We're going to inhale, reaching that chest up long, keeping the back of the neck nice and long. Exhale. Try to make these movements isolated. <laughs> Slow them down. Really use that core, use your back. Make this an action that starts from the ground and works its way up your spine. <sighs> Kitty cat. <laughs> Zeppelin says, use your core. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> and on your next inhale, go ahead and come up to a nice tall seated position. We're sitting stacked directly over our hips. Now placing the left hand just out to the side of us, reaching that right arm up nice and tall and sliding out on that exhale. Again, keeping that belly pulled in. I'm not slunched over here. I'm really trying to lengthen my spine still. <sighs> keeping that right hip grounded. And even if you're just here slightly to the side, that's great. Just keep working at it and you'll get deeper and deeper. <laughs> And then now if we want to take this to the next level, we can start our pulses. <sighs> Exhaling to reach out, inhaling to sit up. <sighs> can even take that arm behind the back or use it to help you. <sighs> Yoga is all about finding what is right for you. No two people are the same. I'm not your learning curve. And on your next inhale, coming up to seated, we're now going to tuck that left foot, or sorry, right foot by our hip. Left foot comes over by the knee. Again, you can take whatever variation works for you, but we're pulling in that belly, zipping it up and taking that left arm behind our back and reaching over, keeping the spine nice and long. And inhale, coming back to center. Okay, so next what we're going to do is some seated twists. We're going to have our goalie arms here and every exhale, we're going to turn to look back over that shoulder and we're going to inhale to center and then exhale to look over the opposite shoulder again, taking our head with us. Ready? Let's begin. <laughs> and exhale. Twisting, wringing out those organs. And inhale back to center. Next, we're going to come up for our kneeling half moon. Go ahead and come to your right knee, trailing your foot right back behind you. You can step your right hand just out to the sides, so that way it lands underneath that shoulder keeping that slight bend in your elbow, pulling into the side. Inhale, lifting that foot straight up, making sure it's in alignment with your body, activating the belly. Exhaling, we're gonna crunch forward, kind of rounding the spine. Inhale to straighten out, stretch. Exhale, 
really activating from the core. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always come down to your side by scooting your knee down, lowering your hip, and then bringing your elbow down. And then same thing, inhaling, exhaling to crunch, inhale, exhale to crunch. Following along with Miss Tracy. And one more time, inhale, exhale, crunch, and inhale. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, other side. So now switching over to the left knee, foot trailing back behind, walking that left foot out, keeping everything in alignment here. Inhaling that arm up and foot up, exhale, crunching in, really reaching and extending. If you want on your inhales, you can even reach back behind. Exhale to bring that in. Activating that belly. Exhale. Moving at your own pace. Breathing. And inhale. Back to the kneeling. All right, go ahead and join us on your back with your knees up and feet planted. You can take your arms out to the side in a T position or have them bent in the cactus position. We're going to pick our knees up, flexing the feet, and then we're going to exhale, taking the knees to one side, not going farther than what you can do without picking up that opposite elbow. Exhale, other side, inhaling to pick back up. Exhale, lower down. Again, keeping both shoulders planted. Making this an action starting from the tummy. If you need to or want to, you can take it another level by taking the legs straight up in the air. Adds a bit more of a challenge. Really squeezing those inner thighs. You can do it. I'm shaking, we're wiggling, Ooh. storm within, calm without, inhale back to center, you can go ahead and hug your knees, if you want to give them a kiss, thank you knees, and then same thing, putting the arms back out, T position or cactus, Trying to take them as straight up as you can. If you need to have a little bend and out somewhat, that's fine. But make sure you're really pulling in that belly button, making those toes shake and quiver. And on your inhale, we're going to open out. Exhale, bringing that right foot across. Inhale apart. Right foot comes behind now. Exhale. Picking back up, I'm shaking, see my toes wiggling. Squeezing that belly. Woo! Keep pushing, the mind gives up before the body does. One last one. And exhale, knees to chest, hug it out. You can even hold your hands on your knees and kind of Pull your shoulders out by pushing your knees forward into your hands, pressing those hips around. Hmm. Good job, way to hang in there. That one got me burning. All right, now we are going to go into a laying down eagle pose here. Uh, so we are going to pick up our left knee, right leg comes up, over, and then tuck your right foot under. If you can't reach that right foot all the way around your calf just yet, you can follow along with Tracy. And you really want to make sure that you are pulling the outside of your calf together. So that way you're sandwiching it because eventually we wanna make it to tucked all the way. So then we are going to do opposite arms of our legs. So then now my right arm comes in, left comes behind, wraps under, and clasps. Again, if you can't quite get there all the way, you can press the backs of your hands together. 
and activating that belly. We're going to inhale, extend your legs out and arms up and out and exhale, squeezing them in. Really reaching and pulling open, exhaling, pulling everything in. Twisting our way to a smaller belly. Bring out those organs. And inhale. Exhale. And go ahead and inhale to unwind. Come to a comfortable place on your mat. Wiggle it out. Yeah, man. Let it loose, do what you need to, yell at me. <laughs> yeah. So yes, that, that's your actually your IT band, and it's actually getting a really big stretch when you're pulling on it, especially if you're a desk dweller. <laughs> whoop whoop! DD for life! <laughs> um, but yeah, so this will stretch you out while working your core. All right, let's go ahead and go for the other side. So right leg lifts up, making that 90 degree angle. Left leg wraps over, under, and squeezing together. We wanna activate those thighs and flexing my feet. Now my left elbow comes up, right arm wraps under and around. Again, if you can only come so far, make sure you're just really squeezing and reaching. Go ahead and just set yourself here, pressing the low back into the floor. Inhale, reaching out long, long, long. Exhale, bringing your knees to your elbows. Inhale, and if you can only reach so far, that's so fine. That's all good. That's where you are. That's your body. No shame in any game. Yeah. Just keep working. Just keep trying. Last one and exhale and go ahead and slowly unravel. Oh, good job, guys. Deep breaths here. Wiggle it out if you want to. Just shut, let it out. What's that song? <laughs> let it go. What's, oh no. Taylor Swift. Oh no. Shake it out. Shake it out. <laughs> I know. I don't listen to the radio. Okay. <laughs> so now you can go ahead and inhale, taking your feet into your hands. So I'm reaching through the insides of my legs to grab my heels. If you can only reach your calves, that's totally fine. Or if you have towels or straps, by all means, use them. And here we are going to be activating that belly, pulling that belly button in, and just reaching to bring our knees to our armpits. And if you're, again, like I said, if you're just here hanging out and you're like, oh, this is as far as I can go, that's totally fine. So for those of us with desk legs, <laughs> is it cool for like your back knees? Yeah. Better, no, better that's angle, awesome. I'm all for whatever works for you. You find whatever modifications handle you. Thank you so much for the questions, Tracy. <laughs> Curious about life, aren't you? <laughs> and we're breathing, we're breathing, laughing. If you want to laugh, that's the best medicine. I'm pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take life too serious. All right, so feel free to come down out of your happy baby into Shavasana or a comfortable seated position. This is where I'm going to tell you how you can win your fabulous new dragonfly outfit. What I would like to see is a picture of you following along to all four parts of this series and take a picture every time you complete one of the videos of you working out to it. Please tag us on Instagram at Psyche Truth Fitness, hashtag Psyche Truth Fitness Challenge. And if you complete all four videos and hashtag us and tag us in your Instagram pictures, we will pick one lucky random winner to win the fabulous, beautiful black outfit. 
that is similar to what I am wearing and it was so soft and stretchy and I can't wait to wear this to my next yoga class or Lyra class. Thank you so much for joining and good luck.